find the slope of the linear function defined by the table. And they give us a table here. They define certain amounts of, I guess these are shift lengths. And then they say, how many hours is a, is a, a half a day, is a full day, is two days, is a week, is a month. And then they tell us, how much money do we make in each of those time periods? And if we work four hours, we make $54. If we work eight hours, we make $108, so forth and so on. And then they say, what does the slope represent in this situation? So we have to find the slope and figure out what it represents. So just as a bit of a review, slope, slope just equals the change in the dependent variable divided by the change in the independent variable. So how much does the dependent variable change for any amount of change of the independent variable? In this situation, the dependent variable is the amount of money you make, because it's dependent on how much time you work. This is independent. So let's call the independent variable x the dependent variable y. So our slope in this situation would be change in y, change in y, divided by change in x divided by change in x. So how much does the amount of money I make change when I work a certain number of hours, when my hours worked change by a certain amount? So let's just take some data points here. And we could take really any of these data points. I'll take some of the smaller numbers. So let's say if when I go from 4 to 8 hours, so my change in x is going to be what? If I go from 4 to 8, my change in x is going to be 8 minus 4, 4 hours. Right? So this is going to be my change in x. I'm just picking these two points. I could have picked 4 and 40 if I wanted, but the math would be more complicated. But how much does my, uh, the amount of money earned change if I go from 4 hours to 8 hours? Well, I go from $54 to $108. So the difference in the amount of money I make is 108, is 108 minus 54. So what is my change in my? In my dependent variable, well, that's going to be 108 minus 54. Well, that's just 54. And then how, what was the change in the amount of hours I worked? Well, the change in the hours I worked was 4 hours. So if I work 4 more hours, I make 54 more dollars. Let me put an equal sign there. So what is 54 divided by 4? So let me just, so 4 goes into 54. Looks like there's going to be a decimal here. 4 goes into 5 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract. You get 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down this 4. You get 14. 4 goes into 14 three times. 3 times 4 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. Bring down a 0 right here. 4 goes into 20 five times. And of course, you had this decimal right here. 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract, no remainder. So this is equal to $13.5. But since we're talking in terms of dollars, maybe we say $13.50 dollars, because dollars, that's our numerator, right? This is money earned, dollars per hour, because that's our denominator, dollars per hour. So that essentially answers our question. What does the slope represent in this situation? It represents the hourly wage. It represents the hourly wage for working at wherever this might be. And we didn't even have to, you know, frankly, for this problem, we didn't even have to take two data points. We could have said, hey, if we work four hours, we make $54. 54 divided by 4 is 1350 Or we could have said, hey, if we work, 100, if we get, we, if we work eight hours, we get $108. 108 divided by 8 is 1350 So you didn't even have to take two data points here. You could have just taken any of these numbers and divided by any of these numbers. But hopefully, we also learned a little bit about what slope is.